war started over disputes over whether or not to abolish slavery. The southern states of America relied on farming and producing cotton on plantations for their income. The northern states were already more commercialised than the south and owned a lot less farmland. As farming on plantation relied heavily on slave labour, the south opposed the abolition of slavery, despite the bill being supported, the new president Abraham Lincoln. In 1860, the southern states formed the Confederate States of America. The war was triggered when the Confederates claimed Fort Sumter in Charleston Bay. They opened fire on the federal garrison and forced it lower the American flag in surrender. President Lincoln called out of the militia to suppress this insurrection. By the end of 1861, one million armed men had fought each other along a line stretching from Virginia to Missouri. The fighting intensified in 1862 as huge battles took place, like the Battle of Shiloh in Tennessee, which produced more than 23,000 casualties, and the Battle of Gaines Mill, which had an estimated 15,500 casualties, and the Battle of Fredericksburg, with an estimated 17,929 casualties in Virginia. By the end of the war, the North's original goal of a limited war had given way to a new strategy of total war to destroy the Old South and its institutions of slavery. From 1862 to 1865, intense battles raged across the divide. General William Sherman led his army deep into the Confederate heartland of Georgia and South Carolina, destroying their economic infrastructure. General George Thomas virtually destroyed the Confederate army at the Battle of Nashville in Tennessee. In the spring of 1865, all the principal Confederate armies surrendered when the Union captured the Confederate President Jefferson Davis in Georgia on May 10, 1865. Matthew Brady, born 1822 and died in 1896. His parents were Irish immigrants, born in New York. He met William Page at age 15. When he was 16, Page took him to New York, where he went to Yale University. In 1844, he opened his first gallery. In 1851, Brady was selected to exhibit for the American Union of Daguerreotypists of America at the Great London World Fair. Brady met Alexander Gardner and was convinced by him to switch to the wet plate method as daguerreotypes would soon become redundant. Frederick Scott Archer discovered the wet plate method, a glass plate covered in an emulsion mixture of collodion and iodine then dipped in silver nitrate in darkness. Once exposed to light, while still wet, creating a negative which could be endlessly reproduced. Brady opened the National Portrait Gallery in 1860 on the west corner of Broadway. On February the 27th, 1860, Abraham Lincoln visited the gallery and Brady took a portrait of him using the wet plate method. This photo showed Lincoln looking trustworthy and presidential. Once the photo was seen by the general public, it was a major factor that led to Lincoln getting elected. At the start of the war, Brady produced a lot of negatives and photos for soldiers heading off to war. Brady rarely visited the battlefield himself, but directed all his paid employees from New York, which was probably due to the fact that his eyesight began to deteriorate in the 1850s. He had the idea of using a travelling dark room on the back of a wagon, which was used by all of his employees who photographed the battlefields, including Alexander Gardner, William Pywell, George N. Barrand and Thomas Croche. Most of the work in the Brady collection is thought to be the work of his assistants, but as there is so much missing data, it's hard to know who took what photo. During the war, Brady spent $100,000 to create over 10,000 negatives.